whatever field, you can use the technology to achieve whatever you want to achieve effectively and efficiently. I've always loved robots since primary school. I hope to learn more about robotics and I hope to turn my ideas into algorithms. How does a self driving car work? A self driving car does work for them. There are different things you don't program the commands yourself. It's able to generate commands for by itself. This initiative is very important to um, open up the minds of um, young kids to see the possibilities and also the realities of what engineering uh, is. Engineering is about solving problems and not just building um, exciting um, machines or building exciting robots, but robots, but actually solving um, problems that um, plague our society. This morning we're going to talk about how to make robots to What we built this program to do was to teach them critical um, thinking skills, not necessarily everything that has to do with programming, but if they can interpret problems and solutions in terms of computer programs. Yes, that, that's the major um, advantage of this program. So we are teaching them critical thinking skills in solving problems. My experience so far is that they've taught us about robots and AI, how to train them to be able to solve different problems. And I'm very happy that they've appointed all of us to do this boot camp and training because it can help us to enter the new era of technology. This is my first time of a uh, year of self-driving cars and I also learned how to code them, program them and how to make them um, perform the specific instructions that I've given them. I also learned how to make them think on their own, similar to AI like ChatGPT and that. In my department, we worked on building self-driving cars and we viewed it from an angle of how the normal human being functions. So by introducing self-driving car components as the components that make up the human body, we are able to like, teach students how to um, build a self-driving car. We had a total of 12 teams, each consisting of um, five students or at least four students um, across um, different schools. And um, we tasked them to um, come up with um, a project um, which they would develop um, on their own. And this was much more different from their classwork projects, which were already determined. And um, they, they, through their discussions, um, they came up with um, wonderful project ideas. And um, that was particularly to um, improve their ability to discuss openly and um, also refine um, their ideas or refine their uh, problem statements through um, open discussions and um, through um, continual questioning um, from their fellow peers. Our idea is a weather-aware self-driving system. So our idea was more like due to the weather, or if the weather is like rainy or sunny, the speed, it will determine the speed of the car. But it gave us another idea that we can put like a code that will be like, it is raining, then the speed will change. So that's what we want to implement, now that we wait for the weather to be whatever it is. Our idea was to make an automatic parking assistant, like an automatic parking as you know car. So it detects like a gap between two objects, then the car reverses into the spot and it stops. Ours would be an obstacle avoiding Arduino car, like the one you showed us. Um, we tried to make it remote controlled, but it would be, it would be like driving a normal robotic car. One of the lecturers, Dr. K. P. Edili, said something that stays that stayed with me personally. He said that um, in conferences, anytime like maybe people in from the whole world gather together, and then you always see Nigerians in one place clustering together and then just sticking to each other. So I've already made that I've already made that my personal goal that I should not just stick with the people that I'm familiar with. That I should learn to network and I should learn to put myself out there. And then Dr. Oluwa. Ronti also stressed something about knowledge and he also stressed networking too. He said that knowledge comes before money. So I'm actually putting that, I'm, I'm taking that personally too, that I should always learn to, to work towards 
getting more knowledge rather than working towards getting more money i have been inspired about networking the how we should value our friends and there's a saying that i quote if you want to go fast go alone if you want to go far go with a team i learned how to program an arduino car and how to design robots I, like I don't have the intention to become an engineer, but this boot camp really uh, encouraged me to be an engineer. One of the problems we encountered is having the time restriction or the time constraints. We had to do a lot within one week and then we had to really scale down a whole lot of things, making it extremely local. We couldn't go um, into too much details. Um, we specifically just wanted them to get things working to um, spark wonder and to spark interest in their minds. Um, so one of the um, things we would like to fix in upcoming versions of this boot camp is to um, um, improve on the time constraints, probably run this for two weeks or more. I hope they continue to further their research in terms of robotics and artificial intelligence. Um, I want to see more people interested in embedded AI and generally artificial intelligence for applications. So I really hope that they continue um, artificial intelligence even after this program.